comfortably, children, then I'll begin. Right, tonight's just about moving on to the next phase of the Biker Biker. Um, I'm going to have to rehash a bit of ground for the people that was on the earlier one, I apologise for that. Phase one's coming to an end. Phase one was basically just about um, getting permission to create this group um, of Biker Biker himself, creating the group, creating the Northern Monkey sort of thing for anonymous to be anonymous. It's not working that well, is it, people, really? It's just not working that well at all. But there you go. That's life for you. Um, but anyway, it's created. It works most of the time. Clearly, not all the time. Um, creating the, the YouTube channel. Um, so that I've got that going as well. Um, so I've got somewhere to put the, the videos up there. And that's just, again, that's just to get interest. Hopefully people will see those and they'll um, want to find out what it's all about. Come to the group, join in. The other thing that it was about was... Um, basically getting people on, on board, growing the group. That's the part of phase one that's still ongoing. I haven't completed that yet. Um, so I need to keep on working working on that. Um, just bear with me, I did make some notes earlier. Sort of lost my place. Um, so yeah, that's the bit that's ongoing and that's what this Traveller's Rest is about. Um, if you're listening, you heard this earlier, just bear with me. I will get onto the newer stuff shortly. Uh, the Travellers rest on Thursdays, they have sort of a bike night, Travellers free riders. So there'll be more bikers there, um, which gives me a chance to recruit, as well as get to know people. And I won't be going in this little thing, I think I'd get thrown out um, if I did. If you're riding there, or you don't drink, you're teetotal, or for religious reasons you don't drink, don't worry about it, they're going to have coffee there. I'll be riding, so I'll be drinking coffee. So, you know, you're not going to stick out or anything. I'm sure there's lots of people drinking coffee there. Um, so come along to that. And that's all about growing the group, moving it on. The other thing, of course, was I wanted to get out there patrolling um, as soon as possible. I never imagined for a second that we'd be out there patrolling and grabbing people straight away. It's just, it's not that. It's just unlikely, um, because even if you go in the bad areas, of course, um, they're not active 24-7, are they? So unless you happen to go in there and you know they're active that night, there's a good chance you're just going to go past them um, or you're going to miss each other. Um, but that's not what it was about. What it was about is getting people involved, getting people doing something, getting people going out, getting people patrolling, um, and so just getting the group motivated do something get a bit of experience finding out where we're weak finding out where we're strong finding different ways of doing things um that was successful um that's giving me some ideas i mean the zello um the base station that's fantastic the zello not being able to talk while i'm riding not so fantastic that's sort of a, an issue but i'm hopefully going to have that solved um tomorrow I mean, i've got the bluetooth helmet that's not a, a problem it's just activating it so that was what phase one was about and I'm quite pleased with how that's gone. And so I want to start bringing that to a close now and move on to phase two. And phase two is about working a bit smarter, basically. Um, just basically finding better ways of doing things so we can, we can actually start making a, a difference. Not just randomly riding about bad areas hoping that there's some chance that we're going to come across people. Because um, I think that's unlikely, to be honest. So I'll just hang on a second, because let a few people, pe more people get on there, on board, um, before I, get, I do this bit, because I don't need to cancel it again. It's not done the same as before. Right, I'll just let you recap a little bit. So the ones that listened to the last broadcast as my alter ego, <laughs> um, I've just basically said the same as I did last time. I'm just catching on there. You know, the alter ego is brilliant. It means I can jump in a telephone box, spin around and jump out my pants on the outside. It's fantastic. Except it doesn't always work, does it, on Facebook? Anywho, so I've just gone over the phase one and what that was all about, growing the group, getting out patrolling, getting active, getting to do things. Um... And that's all good. That's that's come along. 
finding out where we're strong, finding out where we're weak, um, and that's good, you know. Uh, we've got some really good members that are, are coming out there, uh, Richard obviously, uh, Adrian, etc. Uh, quite regular, I'm sure there's going to be more people joining as and when they get time. We've got the lads on the base station, that's brilliant, fantastic, except can't use the, the uh, Zello while I'm riding. Hopefully that will be solved tomorrow. Um, Richard, show you what. <laughs> Don't know what that's saying on there. Anyhow, so um, yeah, that's hopefully going to be solved tomorrow, and I'll, I'll let you know how that goes. But now, phase two comes along. Um, so. What phase two is, is to try, it's about trying to work a little bit, alter ego, <laughs> alter ego I hope you mean, but slightly worrying if you do mean alter ego, in a phone box, <laughs> um, I don't know if you can even find phone boxes anymore now we've got mobile phones, I'd have to find one of the old yellow ones people have in the garden as decoration, they might object to that, uh, but anyway phase two. Phase two is about operating a little bit smarter. So we've basically carry on growing the group, go to the travellers, do all that sort of thing so we can keep the group growing. But then we've got to work a bit smarter, try and involve more people. And I'm sure people are going to let me know what they think about some of these ideas. And I hope you do. That's sort of the point. I wanted to create scouts. I don't mean dib, 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 dub, 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 that kind of thing. I mean, you can do that if you like, but that's not what I'm, what I'm after. I wanted to get a few people who are prepared to be scouts for me. So when we go on patrols, they turn up in the cars, no bikes. They're not going to be getting involved in anything, um, get themselves in problems. I just want them, if we cover four or five areas, I want a scout in, in an area driving. I don't want them parked up. I don't want them attracting attention to themselves. They just drive around, and if they see something, they pop on the Zello channel, they call me, we go across and deal with it. So they're going to be non-confrontational, I mean we're all non-confrontational really, but they're going to be non-confrontational. Um, I don't want them getting into areas, if they're not comfortable going into an area, don't go in. You know, go around, basically, it's just common sense. There's not many areas in Sheffield where it's, it's that bad in a car. But they're the scouts, they're sort of there to drive in bigger areas, so it's spreading the net out wider. So um, we can have four or five scouts four or five areas, they're going around, and then we've got um, the hunt, hunter squad, for want of a better word, which is me and the other lads on the bikes. As soon as we get something on the radio, they tell us, yep, we've got some lads in this area, yep, we've got a bike in this area, whatever it is, boom, we just go straight across. And we go in, they get it on camera, call the police, deal with it, whatever we're going to do. We make that decision when we get there. So that's the point of those. Scouts go get information just like they do in any other service. They get the information for us, they call us in, the hunters go in, we deal with it. So I want that operating. Anyone that's not comfortable going on patrols, anyone that's not got a bike, some people in the group, they haven't got a bike. They've come into the group because they're interested in bike crime, bike activism, whatever you want to call it. That's fine. It's not a problem. If you've got a car and you want to get involved, that's the way you do it. You do the scouts, just PM me your names, and we'll sort something out and obviously when I go on the next patrol if you're available fantastic if you're not available you know no harm no foul then we need a recovery squad which to be honest will probably just be the hunter squad um, and when people discover abandoned bikes they contact us one of us whoever and then we'll go out as a group to find the bike and to get it recovered I mean that's going to basically just involve us calling the police at this stage Obviously, um, there's nice recovery for biker biker. That's just in London at the moment, I'm guessing. But and I don't want to do anything that's in competition to that up here. Um, so for the moment, it'll just be calling the police until such a time as we can sort something else out. Um, you know, maybe someone's got a van we can use. But again, these legalities we've got to go into find out. You know, it's not just straightforward. Go out there, stuff in a van, and off you pop. Um, might be a crime scene. You, you can't do that. Um, without knowing what you're doing. So it might just involve calling the police, but either way, recovery squad, we go out there, we examine the bike, we get the details, get the pictures, call the police, stay there until it's recovered. 
unless it's like two days. <laughs> and, and that's the, that uh, basically that squad. Then the other one, the other thing I want is basically an Intel branch. Sounds really exciting, really Gucci. It is in a way, you know, you're the sneaky beaky lot. Um, you don't even have to be in Britain, let's be honest. Um, if there's, I don't know if we've got anyone from abroad in the group, but it doesn't matter where you are, you don't have to be in Sheffield, you don't have to be in Britain. All you need is access to a computer and a good understanding of social media, the different ones, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I can't even remember off the other ones now, I'm on most of them. LinkedIn, no, I don't think they'd be going on LinkedIn, but just the different social medias. So you just need to have a good working knowledge of those. And I want you to basically troll them, troll the social medias and find out if you can find any intel on bike thieves operating in you know, Sheffield, Doncaster, rather than this area. I don't want you to put yourself at risk, I mean, create fake accounts, whatever you need to do, but just try and find a bit of intel. Don't engage with them, don't attract attention to yourself. Just see what you can find. And I'm not expecting people who volunteer to do that to find something tomorrow or in a couple of days or in a couple of weeks, possibly even in a month. You know, that, that, kind, of inf that kind of tactic is long-term. It takes time. You know, you've, you've got to keep digging there. But that's what I want. I want basically people with a level of experience with social media to contact me, PM me, if you don't want your name in the group anyway, let me know and then start digging. I'll see what you can find over a period of time and anything you can find, send it to me. Um, even if it's just locations of uh, dumping sites for bikes where they tend to dump them or hot locations, you know, you might get more up-to-date information, that sort of thing, um, just to keep basically giving me more information just so we can work, work smarter, you know. It's what we need. We need to work smarter and work better. And that's phase two. Phase two, I expect, probably to take till the end of January, possibly longer, you know, to implement. I'll, I'll only move on to phase three when I'm happy that we're sort of a chunk of the way through the phase two. Um, and then I'll move on to the next phase. Uh, hi, Jan. Nice to see you. I thought I was talking to myself, actually. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Um, but nice to see there are a few people out there. Um, I know that one of the figures at the top is this phone that's logged in down here to make sure it's all working properly this time. But never mind, I'm sure people will watch it later on when uh, when they're available. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's most of what I wanted to say. That's what phase two is going to be about now. So um, to recap, I need a few people to volunteer as scouts. Um, to go around in cars um, when we're patrolling obviously you need to have access to Zello uh, the hunter squad which is basically the, the, the ones on bikes we've been patrolling so I know we've got a few on there that's um... why do you have socks on your shower ref <laughs> yeah no I'm not hand muff mate <laughs> I'm definitely not in the toilet I can assure you um not far away from it, but not, not, not in there this time. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's any. No, there's definitely not. Um, so, yeah, what we're saying. Doesn't take an awful lot to confuse me. Uh, yeah, the scouts, to go in different areas, to give intel. The hunter squad, which is basically the lads that's been patrolling me, Richard, all the rest of it, and anyone else that wants to come along. Um, to actually go to these areas when a scout calls us up, bump we're out there and we'll deal with it. Intel branch, Intel squad, Intel group, Intel whatever you want to call it, to basically troll social media and find that information for us. Um, they don't have to be, you know, IT geeks, computer programmers. I mean, that'd be great if, if they are, fantastic. Um, but I don't think that's necessary. They just have to be familiar with social media. Um, so they can actually go on there and troll and find information out on there. All right, Sean, mate, how are you going? Uh, uh, Amy, uh, you know where I am, do you? Yeah, good. I know where I am as well, I think. I'm not 100% certain now. You never can tell. Um, but, yeah, so the Intel people just got on social media so they can actually look around find information, 
tell me anything they, they find. They don't have to be 100% certain. You know, we're not going to go in there heavy-handed. It just gives us areas to target. Um, that's the main reason for the Intel people. And the reason I'd rather they PM me rather than give the names out is because, you know, again, I don't think there's really that much problem with this group. I don't think I've not been careless who I've let in. Um, so I don't think anyone's going to, like, shop them up. But if they are going on... Uh, Oh, I'm good, mate. Apart from I'm really annoyed with Facebook because it keeps screwing up on me. You know, I yeah. Uh, now, if Facebook were a moped thief, I'd have it right now. He'd be in jail. He'd be done. Problem solved. Just keeps logging me in as the wrong person. What's the point of having an alter ego? It's, it's like Superman, isn't it, with the glasses on? Everyone knows who he is. <laughs> it's like Nick keeps logging me in as the wrong person. You all know who I am. Um, but there you go. That's just Facebook for you. Um... But, meh, it's what happens. It's why I just have to keep going. It's why I think posts keep disappearing every now and then because it's being posted as the wrong person. Um, some don't matter. Some do. Obviously, when it goes live, it does matter. So I have to remove those. And, yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, Sean. I, I had to, when, when I deleted the last one, I couldn't go on live for a little bit because I was just laughing. And I, I was alternating between laughing and cursing at, Facebook, I'll not tell you what I was calling it, I'm sure you can imagine. Um, but, programmed by shave chimps in a room, mate. Pay bananas, that's what it is. Pay peanuts, you get chimps, don't you? Um, anyway, what were I saying? Talking somewhat, wasn't I? Yeah, the Intel people. Um, so you don't have to be experts. Clearly, you don't have to be experts, you can work for Facebook. They don't have experts, do they? Look how well that works. Anyway... <laughs> you don't have to be experts, you just have to know social media. So you can you can go on there, create a fake account, use your main account, do whatever you want. Just try and dig and find a bit of information. Don't have to engage with people, you don't have to friends with them or anything. You just have to try and find information so that you can give it to us. And it gives us somewhere to target. That's uh, no pun. <laughs> so... Um, it gives us somewhere to target or some people to target to, to watch. Because obviously we're, we're not going around there grabbing people and doing that. We're basically getting information and then we're getting the police involved. That's the whole point. That's how we work. Um, so, yeah. I'm sure you've all got it now and I'm sure you've all had enough of me. But the other thing is, like I said, the travellers on Thursdays. I'm going to try and do it every Thursday. It's going to be sort of... Yeah, nice one, Richard. I'll have a look at that. It's going to be sort of our version, the northern version of the Ace Cafe. It's not big. It's not shiny. Um, but it does. You know, it'll, it'll do for us. So it's. I'm going to try and get there every Thursday. Whether I can get there at 6 or not, depending on work. Uh, nice one, John. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, the more people that do that give me information, the better we, we can actually target things better. Then that's that's... That's what this is like. The police in the 1970s, you know, when they used to drive about and achieve bugger all, um, and then it became intelligence-led, and all of a sudden you're seeing about the police kicking people's doors in the middle of the night and arresting people and blah blah blah, moving on, you know, and, and that's sort of what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to move from 1970s to more modern, like they do, like the the London mob do. I mean, they they are certainly very well organised, and I'm trying to start moving us in line with that. Obviously, it took them years to get that good. Um, so we've got a lot of catching up to do and we're not going to do it in the next few months but we have to start somewhere and i'm in it for the long haul and i'm pretty sure there's a few out few of you out there that's in it for the long haul i mean we haven't got the moped street robbers really in sheffield yet so it's mainly bike crime and a few intimidations and there have been a couple of bike jackings um attempted ones at least but i don't know if any of any of you saw what happened in leeds I think it was last week. I think there's 11 moped muggings on the sidewalk in, in Leeds in the same day. And Leeds is, what, 35 miles down the road? It's not far. If it happens in Leeds, it comes in Sheffield. And if it's coming to Sheffield, I want to be up, running and ready for it. So, um, you know, that's the other thing. I want to try and keep one step ahead. I'd like to keep two steps ahead, but, you know, let's not be ambitious. I mean, just try and keep the one step ahead. Because at some point, the police are going to get funded again. And then, you know, 
the pressure will be removed off us. They'll, they'll be able to step up and, and do what they need to do. But they can't do that at the moment with the current level of funding. So anyway, travellers, I'm going to try and do it every Thursday. Starts at 1800, um, 6 p.m. Um, so I'd like people to attend if they possibly can. Um, obviously, you don't have to get there for six. I doubt I'll be able to. Um, where's that? Sorry, I'm just reading the, the post. Tuned in, we'll catch up with the stream. Nice one, Scotty. Yes, mate. You do that. I've got to catch up with it later as well because I can't remember what the hell I've been on about. <laughs> but I'll, uh, I'll do my best. Uh, I can't share posts from the page to spread the word. Not sure if there's another way. Yes, mate, that's because it's a closed group, I'm afraid. And luckily it is a closed group because of obviously it keeps posting me under the wrong name and that's why I'm not too concerned because it's only people in the group can see it. Um, and, and when I've added people to the group, I've not just added people randomly. I have had a quick look through the profile, so I'm quite happy the people in the group aren't really an issue. Uh, but that's why it's closed. It's basically so that, you know, things just don't get out there and I know it's a bit frustrating sometimes when you wanting to share things um, but most of the things that are in this group to be quite honest uh, are being shared from other sources so you can probably find the original source and share it that way uh, from the bike theft pages etc oh yeah Richard I should have read the next comment shouldn't I yeah screenshot it um, that's probably the best way anyway so I'm going to wrap up for tonight. So if you watch the po if you watch the broadcast back, you'll see the main bullet points of the phase two and what the phase one was all about. Thank you for being with me for phase one, and I'm hoping that you know most of you'll stay with me for phase two, and uh, so we can get that organised. And just let me know if you want to get involved, if you want to be a scout, if you want to be part of the hunters, or if you want to be the one of the intel guys, or if you think there's a, another group we should have. You know, the more the merrier. Um, obviously, get yourselves on, on Zello. Um, the, the Bluetooth system I've got in my helmet, it was only like 10 quid. You just fit it in, retrofit it inside the helmet. It's not expensive. It can go in virtually any helmet. And then you've got access to Zello, you know, actually in your helmet. And the little button thing that I've, I've ordered, it's fiver. You know, it's nothing. And that will work as a push to talk. And fit it to the handlebars. It just needs basically gluing onto some kind of clip so it'll clip on the, the, the handlebars and then we've got a cup of tea group <laughs> I could do with one mate, any chance you could nick one round for me because uh, my missus is downstairs and she's not going to make me one I think I've annoyed her, I'm still breathing so I've definitely annoyed her um, yeah so yeah, just it just means gluing a little clip on it then you can put it on the um, I keep making hand signals and you can't see them then you can just put it on the, the handle grips on the left hand side you can activate it with your thumb just like you could do the indicators the lights anything else you know it's not going to be dangerous it's going to be perfect cheers mate milk no sugar cheers buddy uh so it won't be dangerous you just press it and it operates you can operate as a um, press to toggle button rather than press to hold uh, but that's part of the settings so anyway come back to me please have a look See if you want to get involved in any of the different the different activities, scouts, hunters, etc., so on and so forth. Um, intelligence. No, I haven't got any. Thank you very much. Um, let me know if you think there's something else that should be added to that group. I mean, I have thought about this for a while. Um, see, I'm, I'm not like... No, not that bit. That bit, there you go. I've, I've been thinking about this for a while and, and making notes and seeing where I wanted, to, wanted it to fit in. Um, it's not just like off the top of my head. I did have a plan from day one when I set this group up, um, up to phase four, we're just starting phase two. So keep in touch, let me know where you want to fit in, let me know any ideas you've got, anything you want to tell me. If you're not comfortable posting it on the group, PM me, just let me know that way. Um, I'm always available. You can email me, it's northern.monkey at gmail.com. Or you can go on Zello as well. I tend not to be on Zello unless it's patrol night because um, I don't want it to be turned into a chat channel because then when we do start patrolling, you know, it'll just be full of chat and um, it just won't work very well. So thank you very much for listening. You've been very patient. Thank you to the blog earlier that told me, you know, Facebook had cocked up again. Thank you to Richard for telling me the other day that Facebook had cocked up again. 
And from now on, I'm always going to assume that Facebook has cocked up again. <laughs> so thank you very much. Take care, people. Have a nice Sunday. And hopefully I'll see you on the next patrol. Northern out. See you, mate.